small intestine 18 is right up underneath the zygomatic arch. There's a nerve that runs along underneath here that causes extreme pain. Uh, what we're going to do is say you're in a grappling situation, you're trying to vie for a position, and we get right up underneath with the forearm here, or we slipped an elbow right in here. Just by doing a little bit of... Okay, so again, if we're messing around here, and I just get him here and... Tchah! face the camera, okay? You can tell by the eyes, Come back. So it's a very nice way, if I'm going for his head, he's gonna know and he's gonna start moving around to avoid it. But if I put an elbow on his chest, I can still press in. And just a little A little pulse can do a lot for an altered state of consciousness. The next point we're gonna use is right underneath the ear, one of our favorite points in Q-Show. You've seen it on every video probably so far. Okay, so say I've got the person over to the side. As I push in, you can see the, uh, the effect, the somatic. pocket between the sternocolatoid mastoid muscle and this group of muscles at the, the spine in the neck. Okay. A lot of charts will show the gallbladder 20 up against the base of the skull, but we can place um, a bone or we can place a wrist bone underneath the gallbladder 20. What I need to do now is I need to give him a brace, whether it's going to be my head or whether it's going to be my shoulder. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get positioned into this. From a standing position, I could have rotated the individual, came from behind and got a choke as it was going for maybe a throat choke or type of an action. Or from the frontal position, if I've got my forehead right up underneath, <laughs> Now instead of wrapping around in back of the person to cause this, again, I'm a short man, I got short arm reach. So I, I'm not physically able to get around there as well as a, a bigger man on a smaller opponent. So what I can do is I can grab his geese and push. Different things. From a grappling position, if I turned, I could get behind the person to put in a choke. I could even get it from a, a position where I get the headlock and press. Now what we could do is in a, in a choking technique, if I came around, I would just put my thumb in there, and I'll just for the clarity of the camera, show my thumb knuckle going in there. Now I, I did a film on the 6G hands where we used the iron bone thumb. Now this one would just go right on the, the stomach, and I would push down, and that would just take the legs right out. Again, if we were grappling, if I shift it around, I could get right in on the gallbladder 20 and press down. If I'm in front of the person, I can just place my head here for base and push down to weaken the body.